I'm going to draw a perspective of a building in a new town centre based on a design that some people in a workshop that I was taking had thought about and basically the, the structure of the site is that this is a main street through here that connects through to some environmental areas. The site in question is basically in here and the street sort of bends up and connects to residential areas. This is residential areas, there's a school here and more density there. But the idea was to create a another link through the site crossing the street and coming down this main street through here to create like an urban laneway. So the uh, so the shapes of the buildings are triangular effectively which is slightly tricky and uh, this is a pedestrian space maybe nine meters wide and uh, we're going to do a view that looks this way down through here now I did this drawing with someone and shown them how to draw a perspective uh, so I'm just going to go through the various steps that we talked through at the time I always draw the eye line first and I'm going to draw them blue because I can go over it in black later on. The buildings were meant to be five stories and so I draw a major line for the, for the primary wall. This is the eye height for people. So the ground floor is about that big and it's going to slope away like that. So we can start to measure up here. You know, one, two, three, four, five stories. All these will vanish back to a line on the horizon line down through there somewhere. So we basically draw those a bit better than what I've done and pick what might be the end of the, the building. And then a quick cross will give us the halfway point and then the halfway point and the halfway point, which could potentially be some structural grids and verticals in the building, help make the building recede. So we then need to get the proportion right for the, that's the ground floor, proportion right for the, uh, the space in between. And this, this building is vanishing away more, this is vanishing away less, so that's going to be more, more like that. So we can just run those lines vanishing to one point somewhere back in the distance. And similarly we can start to now guess some of the heights, the dimensions of these 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 proportions because of the nature of the proportion we've established through there now the trick with this space in between is that it's going to vanish to a point which will be basically there so it will then so all these lines will vanish to that line through there so you can start to get a sense of the the structure of the the drawing now, the build, there's a building across the road here which is on the same plane as that, so it's more or less around here, so we could pretend and, and draw this coming through that way. And so there's a, a building through there. And then in the background are some lower scale buildings, three stories of some sort. So that was the bones of the drawing. Um, the, the idea was the building would have some masonry in it um, and uh, the person I was drawing it with was keen to make the buildings look more like an American loft style of architecture with masonry walls and punched opening. But I'll go through what I drew and then I'll show the final drawing at the end. Um, basically there's a few things about buildings that I sort of return to and one is the notion of sort of a vertical rhythm through the buildings. Um, the fact that there might be a corner that could be slightly taller. Uh, we create a strong a strong base to the building and there'd be some sort of awning arrangement through there. And that this could well be some kind of masonry element, maybe that goes taller through there. Um, sometimes I'll just happily put some gaps between these these buildings and draw some, some screens and the like and these could well be um, opportunities to grow plants up the building. In between, it could be the balconies or whatever, and then maybe to enhance the verticality, you might do <coughs> big sort of windows and balconies with the <coughs> double height spaces. 
so that could, could run through there and then that runs back through this way. On this building it might be slightly different so we might actually have more of a, uh, a bookended arrangement and then perhaps there's like a grid of, of balconies and floors that run through and roofs that might extend out further or not and then you can start to then do some shading to bring out some depth in the building. Now the sun probably is coming from this direction through here so this facade will be more in shadow and then we might have some some cafes and benches and the like through there. So we show the depth of the balconies, put some shading on the windows, and you can start to make it read like a three-dimensional object. I like shadows. So these might have a different expression. Um, bit of variety in a building is not a bad idea and we can express potentially the elements between and there's maybe people up on the balcony and we can start to put some more shadows it's very rough but you get the idea maybe this steps down towards a neighbouring neighbouring building and it might have a more of a masonry so feel of it again perhaps so um, and these might repeat down through the building and create a degree of and that comes through there so street trees are important parts of the urban environment you know maybe there's a tree in the background through there and we can start to put some trees that start to vanish one of the foreground might have a bit more detail on it and this basically begin to you know, put some um, color just to my pen's running out as it always is And then the trees in the background. So so that was the bones of the sketch that we did and we were much much more deliberate and slower when we did this in the workshop environment but you can start to get a sense of the idea of how this, this might start coming together as a as a complex of as a place more than you know anything else so I added a bit of detail on the drawing just some string coursing in the in the masonry just to to give it a bit of detail around and break up the, the spaces around the building it's a simple way to get some texture and then of course you know the ubiquitous dots and the like to come up with some windows through here so you could suggest that as as dark I just added a bit of detail in the shadows like when I found my felt pens but uh, I like to put some sky on and have fun with the sky to make the drawing read much better and uh, you don't just colour the sky in completely blue you fade it away and add some detail to it I like the scratchy pen it suits my views of the world and the way I like to draw and of course these blues can then start to act as reflections on glass and things like shadows on the ground potentially although normally I'd use a probably a slightly darker darker pen and I might come back later on with with that to make it read a bit 
a bit better so it sort of lifts the drawing. So I'll add some colour for the brickwork. This might be slightly dark but nonetheless we'll see how we go. That might continue across there and also sort of be visible down as columns. These returns might be, might, might be brickwork as well just to, to show how that might come together. But basically that's just a battens and glass and it could well be a range of areas. Can't quite see that but the greenway, green growing on the building. Put some shadows green on the trees. So that's the start of it. The detail I added was I sharpened up the shadows before. Um, that might be an awning. Then added a bit of detail on here. You could always add something in there if you wanted to that's closer to you. Um, cars and the like. I'm not a big lover of drawing cars without a bit of help from SketchUp. But, uh, but nonetheless this is a, just a quick design study that shows you know what, what might be what might be possible on this particular corner just to have a conversation with everybody about what the potentials might be. There are some lights maybe strung across through there. Maybe there's a bit more colour just suggested in through there, maybe there's something in there, who knows. So there you have it, just sign that, PO18. So here are the drawings from yesterday. This is the one done by the workshop participant. Very competent drawing, I think, very convincing. You can see the, the blue lines and the, the structure of the drawing being set up. Um, the scratchy blue sky. This person was very interested in the sort of New York style of, of building with sort of masonry buildings with punched openings, rounded corners and the big arched windows for maybe some offices on an upper level through there. And you get that view straight down that pedestrian walkway into the, um, into the distance. The context is just shown on the right. That's well done. So here's my drawing um, done at the same time. Um, having done this once, draw it again is uh, fairly quick, really, but uh, just showing the sense of the the sense of the architecture, the masonry, scale of the buildings, the context, streetscape. Perspectives are so useful to help capture and visualise a design, and are well worth getting a degree of competence with if you can.